Hello everybody, how are you today? We hope you've had a really good week. It's Tangle Feet's Mindfulness Project at Home and this week is week nine, can you believe it? And this week we're thinking all about lighthouses, what their job is and what they can do and how we can become our own lighthouses. And I want you to have a little think of three good things that have happened to you this week. Can you think of those three good things right now? And as usual, you should have a notebook with you and a pen. So if you want to pause the video now, you could write those down or draw them. Talk to your grown up about it. Say it to us right now if you'd like to. And think about what those things are. And this is a really great thing that you could do every day. I like to do it just as I'm falling to sleep, just as I'm getting cozy in my bed. Think of three good things that have happened that day and focus on the positive things. I'm going to hand you over to Rachel now and we're going to be doing some great warrior poses. As Emily said, we're going to think about being warriors today. Now, you might want to use the word warrior or ninja is always a good one. Think about what you would be. Maybe a power ranger, maybe a ninja, maybe a warrior. What they've all got in common is they're super, super strong and special and they have lots of energy. But also, they're very confident and they're grounded. So we're going to practice that today. So first thing, we're going to stand up. Now, in a previous week, we talked about being mountains. Now, it doesn't matter if you've not seen a previous week, you can still be a mountain. Now, mountains are big and they're strong. So can you place your feet together? Make your legs like they're one. Can we stand up really tall? really strong, really confident. Remember the crowns of our heads go up towards the ceiling. We're super proud, but we're also very, very still. Remember, mountains don't move. Can you be as still as a mountain? Well done. So our first warrior is warrior one or ninja one, if you like to call that. So I want you to think about how firm you had your feet on the ground in mountain, and we're gonna try that again, but we're gonna have it with one foot forward. So you can have one foot forward, one foot back, and then a big deep bend into that front knee. And then we're gonna place our hands on our hearts. Now I want you to feel your hearts. Can you feel your hearts beating? Maybe with your fingertips, you can feel your hearts beating. Now, we have all our special energy in our hearts. Can you feel that energy going into your fingertips? And it's going to be like a special light. And then we're going to shoot that light up towards the ceiling. So should we try that again? Can you put your hands on your hearts? Can you feel all your energy, all your power, your warrior power, your ninja power going into your fingertips? And then we shoot it up towards the ceiling. Well done. Now, the thing about yoga is you have to do everything on both sides. So because we have that leg forward, we now have to have this leg forward. So we're going to try and jump. Can you place your hands on your hips? And three, two, one, switch legs. Lovely. And then big deep bend into that knee. Remember, we place our hands on our heart. Wiggle your fingers, feel all your energy. And up towards the ceiling. Lovely. Let's go one more time. Feel all your energy. And very well done. And now, can you jump your feet together? Lovely. So, if we have warrior one, what do you think comes next? It's warrior two, or if you like to, ninja two. So now, ninja two is a little bit different. We still take a great big step, so you can take a great big step forward. But this time, our arms come out like this. So one's reaching forward like a sword, the other one's going back like a sword. But also, we need our special warrior ninja energy. So can you put your hands on your heart? 
Can you feel it? Now I want you to look. Where do you want to send your energy? Where do you want to send your special light? See little bone in your fingertips and then shoot it forward. Can we try that again? Can you put it onto your heart? Can you feel it all going into your fingertips? And so now, as I said, we're going to do it on the other side. So rather than jumping, can you spin round? Oh, well done. So you've got the other hand forward. Let's put it onto our hearts. Let's fill our fingertips up with all our special energy. And and then one more time. Yeah, what are you good at? What makes you special? What gives you your warrior energy? And shh. Brilliant. And then we're going to jump our feet together. Three, two, one, jump. Lovely. So our special light has come out of our fingertips. We're going to shine our light from somewhere else. We're going to shine our light out the tops of our heads. So from your mountain where we said the crown of the head, can you feel all the light so when the sun shines on you, when you have good thoughts, when you think of something funny or clever or you have a good idea or you make people laugh, that's your own special warrior ninja energy that we want to have. So if we've done warrior one, warrior two, what do you think comes next? That's right, warrior three or ninja three if you like. So, Ninja 3 is a little bit trickier than the other two, so you might have to practice this one a little bit more. So we're going to place our hands together like we're clapping, and then you lift one leg all the way up, so you're like a capital letter T, and then think of all your special energy shooting out the top of your head going forward. Can you hold it for three, two, one? And then we come all, all the way up. Lovely, everybody. And as I said, we now have to try it on the other leg. So, with your feet in, feel that strong mountain. Remember, we start with mountain because we're confident, we're strong. And then we're going to lift one leg all the way up. And then you're going to reach your head forward, all your shiny light, all the things that make you amazing, sending it out into the world. And can you hold it for three, two, one, and then all the way up. Very well done. So sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit frustrated, when I'm not feeling very confident, maybe feeling a little bit sad, I think of my warrior energy and we get it from the earth, all our amazing thoughts, and we can do our warrior poses to help make us feel a little bit better. So I'm going to pass you back to Emily now. Oh, I love doing warrior poses. They always just make me feel a little bit better. And I love feeling that warrior energy. And I loved shining the light out the top of my hand, uh, top of my head and out of my hands. That light is so important. And it's a bit like the light that shines from a lighthouse. What does a lighthouse do? There is a huge lamp at the top of a long tower and that light circulates and sends out a huge beam of light that travels for a long distance. What do you think a lighthouse does that for? Well, it does it because it's trying to warn the ships that there is land ahead. It's trying to make sure the ships and the boats are kept safe because there may be rocks in the sea as the land is coming and the sea gets shallower. But also what it does is guide them home and show them a route home. And that light represents hope and home and safety. So I want you to think about that light and how that light can also come from people and people can keep us safe and guide us home and make us feel like we're going in the right direction on our journey. Who might those people be for you? And this is a really good time to pause the video, grab your notebooks and maybe write down or draw 
the people in your life that are like your little lighthouse. The people that help you on your journey, that make you feel safe and that guide you and bring you home. And that could be lots of different people. And the thing is, some of those people you might not be able to see right now. It could be your favorite teacher, it could be a teaching assistant, it could be a grandparent, your best friend. And it's tricky at the moment because we can't always see those people. But what I want you to know is those people can still shine their light and that light can still reach you and you can know in your heart that they are still with you. So I hope you enjoy writing all those names down. And what you can actually use is a resource that we have inside our butterflies resource pack that you can find on our website, tanglefeet.com and our take part section. There's actually a lighthouse outline and you can use this to draw your lighthouse, color it in and maybe draw all the people that you've just thought about on and around your lighthouse. And where might they be? On the rocks at the bottom, looking out of the windows, right at that top level where the light is shining. Where would you put all the different people who are like your little lighthouses? Something else I want you to think about is that you can actually be your own lighthouse. You have a strong light inside of you that you just practiced with Rachel doing the warrior poses. You have a strong light and all those things that Rachel said, whenever you have a new idea, a clever thought, you get something right in your maths, or you write a beautiful sentence, if you draw a beautiful picture, or you say some kind words, or you have a kind thought, or you make someone laugh or giggle, or just smile. Those are all the wonderful things that make you you. And that is how you shine your own light. And you can be your own lighthouse, because if you know you can do those things for other people, that is a wonderful thing. And you should know for yourself that you are doing good things, okay? So be your own lighthouse, shine your light, keep shining your light for other people, but also shine that light for yourself to keep you going and have self-awareness that you are a wonderful human being, okay? And I hope you have fun drawing and coloring in your lighthouses and putting all your special people around and on your lighthouse. Keep shining that light. I'm going to hand you over to Rachel now for our cosy time. Hi guys, so as always, this might be the point where you want to pause and you can grab your blanket, your cushions, cuddly toys, anything that's special for you to have a lovely little snuggle and a lovely little relaxation time. So if you need to pause, pause it here, grab anything that you need and then we'll get started with our story. So I'm going to grab my book and sit down. You guys are going to lie down. Now, gently close your eyes and repeat, I am still. I am still. I am still. And feel your whole body becoming very still and very quiet and notice how maybe your body starts to relax. The tension drifts away and allow your body to sink further and further, like it's sinking into the floor because you're so comfortable and so cozy. And we wrap ourselves in our blankets and our cushions. Your body just seems to relax more and more with every word you hear. Now imagine a small, tiny little sparkle deep, deep down in your heart. This small sparkle starts to grow. And it grows bigger and bigger and you feel it reaching up and expanding out. It starts to become brighter and brighter. 
and it fills up your chest and you feel the warmth spreading across your shoulders it goes into your tummy and it's getting bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter and it starts to glow down your legs all the way to your toes. Now feel your whole body glowing like a radiant star because that's what you are, great big shiny stars. This wonderful light is your light your very own personal shining light. It's all the love that you have in your heart. That's the love for you that you have for everyone around you, the love that you have for yourself and all the things that you love, all the things that you're good at and sometimes the things that we're not so good at but we keep practicing. This is what makes you wonderful and your wonderfulness is endless. So I want you to shine your light wherever you go. Sharing your light makes other people happy. And if we share our light, then it lets people know that they can share their light. And before you know it, everybody is sharing their light. It's a wonderful feeling and you can become a great example just by sharing the wonderfulness that is you. So sharing your light can be as simple as sharing your smile, saying kind words, doing kind deeds, having a happy thought, or even sending someone. Maybe you want to write a happy note to somebody. It can mean helping someone who's smaller than you, or not as strong as you, or maybe that they're a little bit sad today. All of this is shining your light. And when you do this, we discover a wonderful, warm, fuzzy feeling. And this wonderful feeling comes from doing exactly what you were created to do, which is shining your very special light. If you want to stay here or snuggled up and cosy, you can. Maybe think of all the wonderful ways in which you're going to share your light. If you would like to think about starting to move, you can maybe take a big deep breath in. And we'll sigh it all out. We could think about wiggling our fingers. Think about wiggling our toes. Maybe giving ourselves a great big hug again and gently coming and sitting on our bottoms. So what would be amazing is if you wrote in your notebooks what things you're going to do to shine your light. Or maybe tell us, we're always listening. Or tell your grown-ups. But thank you so much for listening today, guys. That's a goodbye from me, and I will see you next week.